M0FXB, welcome to my channel and my videos about Ham Shack Hotline. So, um, if you've got a hard phone already, this is going to be uh, the first step. So, this is what a hard phone looks like. Lots of these on eBay in the UK. Okay, so, and then you've got your account, you're all set up, you're happy with your, um, your device and it's all working good. You've registered it with Ham Shack, you've provisioned it, everything's up and running and you fancy running it on your smartphone. Uh, or running a similar system on your so smartphone. So the recommended software by Hamshack Hotline, according to their literature, is Groundwire, which looks like this. And it, it, you do have to pay for it, but it looks like um, if you install it on one Google account, you can use it on more than one phone. So that's quite handy if you're logged in on the, the same account. So we've I've installed this. And so we're just going to look at the um, the instructions here. So, um, let's have a look here. These are the instructions that are, are sent to you when you, when you, register, when you request a soft, a soft phone. You request that by going to Hamshack Hotline Help Desk or Operations, uh, logging in and opening a new ticket. And the one you select is new soft phone. So soft phone request here fill out the details and one of the details they'll ask you is for your current extension number like for example mine is 42 million 90 or 426090 and you need that and your city and you have to tick and create a ticket and eventually they'll e email you with a username which is your um, your HH extension number a, a very unique password and then the normally if you're depending on where you are in the world um, your proxy domain will be uh, mine is for example hheu.hamshackhotline.co.com yeah okay uh, and that's the way it works so the password makes sure that only you can use it so once you've got that you get you get the um, you go through the instructions step by step so here's some instructions here uh, some notes there that you can read uh, and then they've got a QR code for quick downloading of the of the app. Once you get to the app, um, it takes you through step by step. So once you open the app, you get this thing here. When you start it up, it will present you with terms and conditions. And then it will ask you to accept to record audio. So it says allow this setting. And it's, it's recommended to deny the setting uh, to make and manage phone calls. Next, it asks you if you want to add your contact list. It's up, this is up to you. Uh, recommended to leave it off, but not mandatory. Uh, then cell integration. System dialer integration will allow you to seamlessly switch between application calls and GSM calls. So next, call integration recommended to leave it off. Um, next screen, you be you will want to select the new SIP. So that's the green one here at the top. So select that. Uh, the title is what you want it to display for your own for your on screen. It's not used for authentication. So it's the top bit that says HHUS soft phone. It's up to you what you put there. But the next bit is important, and the username is is the extension you are assigned with, and the password received in the email. So extension hash you are assigned. Um, with is going to be your your phone number. Uh, we'll call it a phone number, and then your password is the that you cut and it says you're told to copy and paste that into the into the password section it's to make sure of no mistakes. Then the domain is hh.hamshackhotline.com. Then next thing is you're going to go to advanced settings before you hit the tick on the top right. There is a tick of your phone. Then before hitting check mark, you must select advanced settings, which will open up a, another window. And again here, you've got incoming calls, use global settings, NAT traversal. Uh, and then underneath that, you've got h8.ushamshackhotline.com, again as the NAT traversal. So enable video calls off, allow early sessions for incoming calls off codex for Wi-Fi, codex for mobile data, that's left the same. Then scroll down and in this section, video codex for mobile data, you can add here where it says voicemail number star 97 optional. 
um, and then override global SSID list off. Outgoing calls need is on. Last option in advanced settings, outgoing calls require registration must be enabled. So you've got that here, green on, call rating on, and then this transport protocol is UDP, push options are all the same. And with all that done successfully, you should see a green section here. So I, I think, and maybe I'm wrong, that there's all, you have to do the tick at the top. There's a little tick on the top right, and then it tries to register. Once, the, once this green section stays green, you've registered. If it's flashing green, it's trying to register. If it's gone red, it's failed um, for whatever reason. I'm sure it'll just be something that's been missed. So that's it. These are the instructions, and you've got an echo test here. Once you hit the keypad here, which is this thing here, you can go star 43 for an echo test or dial star 60 to hear the system clock to test your connection. So thanks very much to Hamshack Hotline, and thanks very much to... Uh, the call sign here at the top here, KD4CLJ, KE0LRW for uh, for doing this. Setting up Groundwire mobile application to access Hamshack hotline on your cell phone. Thanks very much, and we're going to give this a go. All the best. M0FXB, clear. Catch you on air. All the best.